Hi there, in this video we're going to redraw this whale in this weird flowery thing that I made. Okay, and redraw like this not using the pen tool. We're going to use the new fancy uh, improved curvature tool. Okay, you are going to test it, you might fall in love with it like me, and you might be abandoning the pen tool. Alright, I take that back. Pen tool, I'm sorry, but you were very hard to learn. Okay, and the curvature tool, pretty easy. All right, let's go and learn how easy it is in this video. Okay, so we want to work with, uh, we're going to show you the difference between the pen tool and the curvature tool. We're going to focus on the curvature tool because probably most of you doing this advanced class is at least got the basics of the pen tool. We'll do an advanced video right next so we can get your skills up with the pen tool. But for the moment, we're going to look at why you should give the curvature tool a go. Now, if you are handy with the pen tool like I am, um, I found the curvature tool like at the beginning I was like ah, why do I need another pen tool but it's it's actually quite amazing what it does so throughout this course my request is just to give the curvature tool a go throughout this one it's pretty cool. First of all let's look at the pen tool which we know and love I'm going to draw in we're going to start with this guy on the right here we're going to draw the basics so let's say I want to draw this circle okay pen tool is click and drag for a curve and click and drag for a curve click and drag for a curve I'm trying my best circle okay bare circle bare circle Bear circle. Okay, so it's it's okay. Let's do the same thing with a curvature tool. Now, curvature tool, you just click once for a curve. Click once for a curve. You can see once I've kind of finished my first, you know, I've got more than two points here, it starts doing a lovely curve. So I'm gonna click another time and another time, roughly in the corners here. You can see it just does by default nicer curves. And um, let's have a little look at kind of some of the the pros and cons for the curvature tool. So remember the circle here, we clicked once for a curve, but let's say we want a corner. Okay, so what we do is we double click for a corner. Okay, and along here, there's a long big curve here, but halfway along and I click once because I want a curve. And then you can see once I start dragging out, okay, I get roughly where I need it to be. And I can, remember this is a corner point as well because it's a change of direction, I double click. Cool. Up here, um, I've got two kinds of curves. Okay, so there's one going this way and then one kind of bending around. So I want one there for a curve and maybe one there for another curve. Missed it totally. <laughs> That's all right. And back to the beginning here. This is the weird bit. When it joins back up, um, you just click once to kind of finish it off, whether it's a corner or a curve. Just kind of click once to kind of join it all back up. What you'll first of all notice is that it's a pretty sweet curve, right? Okay, it needs some adjustments, okay, and you can adjust it. And the cool thing about adjusting it, this is probably its biggest um, awesome trait is, watch this, if I start dragging this one, what you'll notice is, can you see the line underneath here? I'll kind of point to it, watch this line while I'm dragging this top one. Can you see it actually flexes? So it's not only adjusting um, this one, it's actually adjusting the next one to continue a nice, you know, nice smooth curve. I can drag this one, okay, to try and get it a little nicer. Drag this one in, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I guess the difference would be is if I try to do that in the pen tool, okay, so pen tool, I'm going to click once for a corner, click and drag for a curve, Click once, so it's not going to be too bad. Like, you know, it's not a hard shape to do. I should get rid of the film. Click once. The difference is, if I grab the white arrow and start adjusting this, you can see it does nothing to affect this line here, and you end up with these kind of like really kind of well, just not as balanced curves. So I find that the curvature tool just ends up making my drawings look a little nicer. Now, if you love this control with all these handles, never fear, they are still here, which I can click on these corner points, they are still there, okay? They're just kind of hidden from you. And remember, the biggest thing is that if I change this one, it influences the one above it, and things just end up looking nicer. All right, so remember, double click for a corner, click once for a curve, double click for a corner, mm, double, no, don't double click. So if I accidentally do it, that's fine. I can double click it again and it goes back to being a curve. So, so it's a curve, double click, corner, double click, curve. It kind of toggles it in and out. Go back to here and it's a curve. No, it's a corner, double click. Okay, and I should get rid of the fill here. I will for this one. And there's a curve, so click once for a curve, click once again. And you can just see, yeah, pretty nice curves. All right, so what we're going to do now is redraw this whale. Okay, and we're going to use the curvature tool. Um, we're going to work our way around. There's nothing really new from what we've done here, but this is the shape we're going to use for this class. So this is the one I really want you to do. If you've skipped this one, I really want you to do this shape. So we, yeah, let's draw it together. Okay, so double click for a corner and maybe halfway down here, click once for a curve. We can adjust it later on. Okay, and I'm going to double click for a corner. Now, 
Uh, this fill here is driving me mad. I'm going to go to properties. I'm going to say fill, have no fill. You should have done it at the beginning. That's what I said I was going to do. <laughs> All right, so curve, click once, double click. Click once for a curve, double click for a corner. Uh, this curve is just kind of slight here. Okay, so I'm going to click once about here and maybe once in there. And you're like, what? What is it doing? It's not so you kind of like go out here, okay, to where you're looking for the change of direction because it changes there, right? So I want kind of halfway in there. You're looking for the apex, really. So I'm going to click once, click once. Oh man, look how good it's looking. Okay, double click. Um, you know, I, if you're like me, the pen tool, you get good, but you've got to really fiddle with it afterwards using the direct selection tool to get any sort of like lovely curves through here. Um, this one has a slight dip, so click once. There's a bit of a corner there, click once, and double click for a corner. That's coming out pretty nice, if I do say so myself. Double click, click once, double click. A curve I probably want to yeah do one there and then this one here probably can't go all the way out here so I'm gonna double click for a corner and that's probably one I'm gonna have to tidy up that's all right so double click there's a slight curve here click once click back in here all right uh, give it a fill color and um, I'm gonna give this one a fill color of blue just because it's a whale. And yeah, I'm gonna continue on drawing this now with the curve tool. Let's have a look at adjusting this thing, okay? So there are times where you're like, actually just didn't do what I want. You can grab the curve tool, okay? And go in and go, actually this guy just needs to be maybe up here. Okay, I can try and get him to blend a bit nicer. Yep. Okay, that would work. Or I can undo, grab my white arrow, the direct selection tool and grab this guy and go, what's going on here? and go, this guy needs to be coming straight out of the back of this one, and this one guy needs to go a bit higher. So it's up to you how you best want to do it. But um, yeah, let's continue on, all right? Uh, double click, click once, double click, click once, click. Pretty nice, double click for a corner, click once, Double click. Um, I'll show you one little trick because this is getting boring. Um, it's great tool, so, but let me show you a little trick you can do is say you want these like, some reason I draw these leafy things all the time. If you watch any of my tutorials, too many leafy kind of things. Anyway, this is meant to be water by the way. But what I can do is, say this guy here, I can grab the curvature tool and remember if I want to change it from a curve to a corner, remember if I've got it wrong, I just double click it. I find that's kind of cool. Like, especially that one, like that kind of like leafy shape with one end and pointing, especially if it's balanced, it's quite tough to do. Now, if you're getting bored, you can skip to the next video now. Um, I'm gonna delete that. <laughs> Just go double click, click once, double click, click once, double click, click once, double click. Zoom in, um, double click, curve, double click. One click, double click, click once, double click. I'm driving myself mad now, click once. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it in silence if that's okay. You get the idea, right? How awesome are we? Okay, this one needs a little bit of adjusting and I grab the curvature tool and just say, you my friend, come down a little bit. If yours is snapping, that's one of the things is like, oh, my, why are you doing all of these things and snapping? There's two ways of getting around that. You can zoom right in, okay? So I've hit Command Plus or Control Plus on a PC. So zoom right in gives you a lot more control. You can see it's not trying to snap now just because it's kind of filling in the screen. Or you can go to View and turn off Smart Guides. I use the shortcut all the time. It's Command U on a Mac or Control U on a PC. And even if you're far, far, further out, it's not going to try and snap as much. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it back on for smart guides and yeah, do some adjustments. All right, uh, the only thing I need is my eyeball. The last of it, um, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna get rid of the full, draw my eyeball. And you're like, he's not gonna use the curvature tool, is he? I am. You should just use the ellipse tool, but we're proving a point. Click once, click once, click once, click once, click once. It's not a perfect circle, but it's not what I'm looking for for this guy. I'm just looking for a little bit of weirdness. Okay, there you go. Stroke. OK, 
Okay, I've got a stroke and a fill, and I'm gonna put this one back in. I'm gonna grab my black arrow, and I'm gonna use my eyedropper tool just to steal the color from him. All right, that, my friends, is the curvature tool. Uh, in the next video, let's get into some super advanced pen tool stuff. But um, yeah, if you're like me, okay, and you're good at the pen tool, try the curvature tool, at least for this class. I betcha you're gonna find some nice things about it. All right, I'll see you in the next video.